welcome 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 to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to apply to the university of siena um so when you come um you just come here to show you this asking if where you you are currently living corresponds with your citizenship i'll choose no then i'll choose ghana then this ghana from the list then this is where i am so then i'll quickly sign in or register um i'm just going to like use my email and register into it then i click um this one time it has been sent to my email i'll just click here then to register so with this one i don't have to fill all the information i filled the first time at um university of bergamo um i did the same registration for university of um you know part of it. i didn't need to do that so you click on approval then here i am um all my details are the same i'm not adding anything to it so i'm just going to accept all cookies i'm just going to continue then that is it i've registered then i go to my applications then i go here continue then as always i'm not going to add anything i'll just choose masters then um, first intake second intake yeah i'm just looking at all the options but then i'll choose only it um, english then i'll do the search then applied mathematics artificial intelligence and automation engineering and you can see the economics uh, electronics and communication engineering engineering management european studies finance so for this particular program i'm going to go with um international accounting and management for this particular um, application that i'm showing you i'm going to go with this so before i even start application guys you always know so before going to apply i want to know a bit more about the program so if you guys want to know more about the program you just click on no more like you know more information then you kind of like go to no more so you can see the details about that here um, the tuition fee is calculated according to the country of origin and it ranges from, you know, um, 756 to, you know, maximum of 2,406, um, you know, euros per year. So that's what you need to know. The You can see the application fee, you receive an email with the payment instruction. The application fee is 40 euros per program. So you can know all of the details here. So let's quickly go to the application section. Um, yeah, so we go here. I'm going to edit it. We go to priorities. This, if I want to add any more program, then obviously I'm going to add the program, but then I'm not adding um, any other program. I'm just going with this um, international accounting and management. So the deadline you can see is 15th of January, 2024. Then I'm just going to click on next then i come here like i'll fill all my details my passport number my middle name um you know like everything that i want to every detail about me then i'll also upload a photo okay then from there when i'm done with that i'll go to go um like next it will bring me to contact i'll fill all of the details regarding contacts street address province and all of that then when I'm done, I go to next, it comes to education. Then here, remember during the profile section, you have to upload um, a picture, okay, of yours. So yeah, then at the education section, the level of education, status of studies, official name. So level of education, university, then I'm going to choose like, you know, um, if bachelor's, I'll choose, if master's, I'll choose dependent. So if I'm, for a, a master's program you choose bachelor's then status of studies um you know in progress suspended finished so you can kind of like choose what applies to you then the official name of your university the program name the you know your graduation date then like all the details the one with the asterisk you know it's very very important so the nominal length of program you're going to include that as well. Then you come to the country, the diploma issue dates, the diploma issued by the organization or the body that issued the diploma. Then 
the diploma is your location so where it was you know given awarded to you like the location um then the city your study language and everything this is very very important when you choose your study language like it's really going to help they know you studied in english so yeah then you move next type of bachelor university this is new you can see with see that they are asking that information so you're going to choose public your years of schooling mm, mine is like eight, 18 years or more i think yes yeah so your years of schooling then you save it and then you kind of like move to next then when you fill all of that details when you move to next you go to languages your native language then you're just going to choose english then english proficiency english language test day deadline years of english studies experience so um yeah they're going to choose like c2 proficient you know user when you come to this section years of english studies experience like so if you said you studied in like you studied for 16 years and all is been like all those years is going is being you've been taught in like in english then obviously you're going to write the years you're going to write 16 here then from there you go to next then you come to employment so employment please describe your work related experiences if you had several positions you've held several positions please ins insert only the ones like you know that you think are relevant so four to five so if you had the experience fine if you not you leave this part blank but if you had um work related experience you um click this boss in sets and then your employer name your the type of business sector the occupation held from and to and then if you're currently working you state that and then the hours that you work then the number of employees there if you want to add other ones too then you just keep clicking on insert new block and then you keep adding it so from there after i done filling that information i move to next please describe your most important activities this may include sports organizational activities hobbies etc so yeah if you had if you have any kind of like you know important activities or hobbies or anything like that you can um, insert the block and then the nature of the activity the organization name from and see if you are currently actively doing that activity you can state this as well if you don't have you don't need to worry you don't even have to add anything there then you move to next then bring you to residences Please enter here if you have stayed abroad for extended periods. For example, as a foreign exchange student, working, traveling, independently, etc. Note, please do not include short travels, backpacking, tourism trips. So yeah, so if this is something um, you have experienced, like you've worked abroad or you've traveled like abroad as an exchange student and all of that, then you insert block and then the country you went to, the purpose of stay, then form, and when like um from when to when exactly yeah so from there then you move to next your motivation so one of the most important parts of your application is the motivation letter its goal is to introduce your background and support your application in short its goal is to answer the question why are you a suitable candidate so please take note when you're writing your application and ensure that you like pinpoint the reason why you are a suitable candidate so some points that may help answer your question as to the why you have chosen to apply to that master's program why do you expect to gain what do you expect to gain from their studies why does your background make you a suitable candidate and then how would the program help you to achieve your goals so obviously then you write your motivation letter here um write yeah, you can write at least thousand words, um, but then no more than four thousand. Yes, so that is what you should know. Then you you write it here. When you are done, then you move to the next the document section. So here, um, please carefully study the um, requirements in the checklist. We are going to see the checklist like at the end, but then this is where you are going to include the documents. So let's quickly ch um, look at the checklist so that we know where we are supposed to include them. So proof of English language proficiency, your transcript of exams with grade, your passport, your CV, your proof of payment. These are the things you are supposed to include. So you look at the checklist 
then you move to the document section and this is the place where you're going to include like the document so here you must upload the following document your cv your transcripts of exams with grade for the courses taught in english language you are not if you are not a native english speaker a transcript of english proficiency test tofel cambridge etc or any statement or any statement proving an equivalent proficiency you know sometimes a number of us we are not considered as native speakers so because of that the letter that you got from your university you can upload that document here if you're not clear on that you can always email them and find out whether it's possible for you to use that letter instead of the um, you know TOEFL and the Cambridge um, certificates that are needed um, yes then the last they are supposed to upload has to do with a copy of your passport so those are the documents that you are supposed to upload so you click on select documents and then you drop it here you drop them and then when you are done with um, like uploading all of these documents then you move to other here if you are if you are required to send a portfolio it depends on a particular program that you are choosing to enroll in but then like with my program the one that i chose if the program required that you add like more information about you then obviously about your blog and everything your website and everything then you're going to include it here um medical information in case you you consider it important to inform the university of your medical condition then obviously you can kind of like do it here then any additional request you can add it here then the last thing you're going to do is you let them know where like please let us know how you found the information that led you to apply so university website facebook web search study portals and that's the, then you can just like you know word of mouth family or friends agents informational affairs other education yeah so where you found the the source of your information you can kind of like include it there and then my people you move to the checklist so here if you've not uploaded these documents there they are let you know the proof of english language proficiency um like it needs attention but it doesn't block your application so here you move to it if you uploaded at the document section then obviously you're going to say oh like i've uploaded it and all that you need to know you can see please attach relevant proof of your english language proficiency for my particular program so when you move to the checklist it will tell you in detail if for your program like what you need to like include so in order to take the like for, in order for me to take my program um students must, must have adequate knowledge of english language at least b2 level you just upload the document that you got from your university then um you kind of like state here that whether you've attached that document or you've not then that'll be done with this checklist then you move to the next um the transcript of exams with grade so your transcript can either be in english or in italian then if you've uploaded it at the document section obviously you're going to choose i've, att I've attached a partial transcript i've attached the final transcript then um the passport um if you've attached it then you kind of like choose the option that applies as well you have to um take the checklist to kind of like um when you look at the ch checklist it will tell you the ones that blocks your application and the ones that like needs attention so for if you've not attached a transcript it blocks your um it blocks your application if you've not attached your certificate it blocks your application passport it blocks your application then your cv it also blocks your application so you you, you cross check and then um you kind of like upload your cv as well then on this section proof of payment so I have not paid yet. So after paying within 24 hours, you receive a confirmation email that enable you to submit the application. So yeah, they send, they do send an email. They do send an email to you um, to enable you, like giving you the details on where to pay and all of that. So that is what is going to help you to kind of like make the needed payment. Want to know more about the fee paying instructions as well? 
then you can go to this section and then like know more about it but then basically that is it when you're done with filling every detail and then you've done fulfilling all the checklist and also after you're done making the payment you just click on submit and then that'll be it you are done with the application so i hope you guys found this video helpful i'm happy applying and i'm wishing you guys the very best